Hi, I'm James. So I'm here with my man Sam. Oh, in that way. No offense. And he's from Sam TV. Link to his channel below. And I'm here with my cat too, who decided to wander into the frame. So yes, this vlog will be about Pokemon creepy passes or creepy passes in general. Now, if you watched the last vlog I did, you realize that we have already talked about this, but. Apparently that vlog was so good, we didn't need to edit it at all, despite the fact that the lighting was really bad and we looked red. Yes, this vlog is shall be made with better lighting and better editing. So, Pokemon Creepypastas, or Creepypastas in general. So, cre so for, the, for you people who aren't like as nerdy as me, Creepypasta is a sort of a creepy story or a general folktale which circulates around the internet which usually revolves around some type of video game. Um, the most popular of these creepy pastas, pastas is usually Pokemon, and they involve um, hacked games where the hacker changes the narrative of the game and makes it a lot more morbid and about death, which is always cheering. Um, so yeah, anyway, I came across one creepy pasta at one time, and this was about Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, no. Nope. Animal Crossing is the Yes, the cat leaves is much more entertaining than me. Animal Crossing is the, uh... You take Animal Crossing, it's like the most nicest, innocent, gentlest game ever! I mean, you catch, you, you plant flowers. That's part of the narrative for the love of Tanisha. But, but no, the, the, the person who... It was a fan-written creepypasta. And the person who wrote it changed it to something so dark and morbid. Like, one of the characters had a line that said, Every meal... Every meal of meat is the result of death, but food. And that was rather creepy. Quite scary. What else is there? It was like the, the, the Sable Sisters were, being talk, were talking about being skinned alive, and you couldn't go into your house because apparently no one was home. But it's still a good creepy past. I'll, I'll, yeah, link to it. And secondly, I was also watching Pokemon creepy pasts, and I came across. <laughs> That was the Fresh Prince Bella theme tune, overlaid over creepy Lavender Town music. Now, if you have been watching Creepy Passes, then I imagine you would have heard of the Lavender Town theory. And Lavender Town is one of the most discussed locations in the uh, Pokemon regions, Pokemon universe. And you know all about the stories about the music and such. But yes, when I first came across the whole Fresh Prince Lavender Town thing, I was initially quite creeped out and weirded out because it's like two favourite things of my childhood being amalgamated together to create something very, very dark and weird. But now, I find it quite catchy and quite addictive. So yes, creepypastas. Always good for helping you to get to sleep. Anyway, as my old dad used to say, I only married her for a bet. See you guys.